Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to catch a level 100 Nita King before you even reach Pewter City to fight Brock. There's a glitch in the game which allows us to control which wild Pokemon we encounter during the game. This is dependent on the special statistic of the last Pokemon we battled. Here's just a few examples of some Pokemon I've battled using this glitch. So the first thing we want to do is to leave Feridian City and head to Feridian Forest. Later on, we're going to need our Pokemon to faint, so a very useful tip is to find a Weedle and get poisoned. So that's what we're going to do first. Hmm, antidote. Not going to be needing that one. That's quite lucky, the first Pokemon I encountered in Viridian Forest so happened to be a Weedle. So what we want to do now is not to kill it, just use Growl until it uses Poison Sting and we get poisoned. And then we kill it. There we go, poisoned. And now to finish him off. Now we can move on to the next step, which is to go to the glitchy trainer. He's the last trainer in Viridian Forest and he's standing really close to the exit. He's vital to this glitch, so we want to save the game when we're close to him. Now this is the hard part. We're gonna have to use trial and error. We need a wild encounter right in front of the glitchy trainer. If you're lucky, it'll only take you a few goes but it will take at least 20 minutes to get this right. So you may be wondering why it was so important to be poisoned first. The reason is because we don't know which wild Pokemon we were going to encounter. Luckily it was a Weedle but it could have been a Metapod or a Kakuna and the only moves they have is hardened so they wouldn't be able to make us faint. So there you go, Weedle has defeated us and you can see that exclamation mark appearing above the trainer's head. That means the cheat is now activated. So to get Nido King, we're going to need to find a Pokemon and fight it with a special stat of 7. We don't actually know what their special stat is, but I know with our trial and error that if we fight a Pidgey, we may be able to get our Nido King. Once we find our Pidgey, we're going to want to use Growl six times. This will set the level of the Pokemon that we encounter later on to level one, because level one Pokemon were never meant to appear in this game. And then we can move on to the next step. There we go, that's ground number 6 and now we can defeat Pidgey.
Now with Pidgey defeated, you don't have to do the next part, but I'm going to go back to the Poker Center and heal my Pokemon, and then we will head to Viridian Forest. Thanks Nurse Joy, that's just what me and Charmander needed. Okay so back to our glitch, we're going to head back to Viridian Forest, we're going to avoid any wild encounters or battles with trainers. Once we head into Viridian Forest, something random will be said and then it will start flashing a wild encounter and that should be our Nido King. Okay, so here we go, the moment of truth. There he is, a level one Nero King. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use Growl, and now I'm gonna throw Pokeballs until we catch him. He only took one Pokeball. How lucky can we get? Okay, now to get our Nido King to level 100. What we need to do is not exceed the amount of experience points he needs to get to level 2. Okay, let's just check that. So we're aiming for less than 63 experience points. So let's head down back towards Pallet Town and fight a really weak Pokemon. This level 3 Rattata should be perfect. Okay, we just send out Nida King first and then we kill it with Charmander. Then we can share the experience. There we go, Neo King got 12 experience points and grew to level 100. And there you go guys, this is how you catch a level 100 Neo King before you even fight Brock in Pure City. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe so you don't miss any more cool videos that I make. Thank you for watching guys. Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite